my short devotion from Pietica. Uh, to begin with our devotion, I would like to invite uh, Dr. Poi to offer a word of prayer before we begin. Shall we bow our heads for prayer? Our gracious Heavenly Father, God in heaven. A year ago, last month, we lost one of our patriots, matriarchs in our community. And we have come here to celebrate her life, to remember her passing and the strength. For what a friend we have in Jesus, for all our sins and griefs to bear. What a comfort he will, it is to us that he always strengthens and guides us. So we pray this evening, as we have this service and the ceremony, to honor her and to remember her passing a year ago, that we leave ourselves in thine hands and invite the power of the Holy Spirit here to impress our minds and to guide and direct us. We thank you, Jesus. And we ask the Holy Spirit to guide us to say, this is the way you walk in it, turn to the right and turn to the left. And as we leave ourselves in thine hands, we pray for the speaker this evening and the rest of the musical program. That the words of our mouths, meditations of our hearts, and our, and our actions be acceptable in your sight. Because we want to be ready for Jesus to come so that we can meet all our loved ones, including the matriarch we lost, Ren Moisen, and his mother, grandmother, and the rest. So as we leave ourselves in thine hands this evening, dear Lord, we ask for your guidance, direction, <coughs> blessing, and comfort and peace. And strengthen us to be ready and to work forward to the day when Jesus will come. Let us continue to keep looking up, ever moving forward in faith, till Jesus comes to take us home. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Join the Mizo Church. My meditation, my devotion, and my sermon. I'm always thinking in terms of Mizo. So when uh, Rin asked me to do a devotion this evening, my mind goes, okay, how am I going to translate this one into English? So. <laughs> Bear with me. I may fumble here and there, but bear with me, okay? I'm not going to take it long. Uh, there's a text that I would like to read. It is found in Ecclesiastes chapter... Chapter 3, verse 1. It says, For everything, there is a season and a time for every method.